Dear friends, this is a, a revised, edited version of the Teo Franciscan Theresian Little Way because the previous video apparently the sound went. So this is a second attempt. And the theme, as I've just explained, is the Teo community's Franciscan Theresian Little Way, the little way to wholeness, spiritual growth. But what does that mean? The little way. To adopt the little way of the Teo Franciscan community, the heart needs to be open and receptive to the daily promptings of the Holy Spirit of divine love. And at the very heart of our interfaith Franciscan spirituality, there is an acceptance that our Creator God has both male and female energy as evident by the reference to our Holy Father, Mother God. The little way to spiritual wholeness was inspired by the simplicity and humility of two extraordinarily beautiful souls whose personal search for God has changed the face of humankind as well as, ex as, well as inspiring many millions of souls to take a leap of faith by honouring the divine within their monasteries without walls. Both St. Francis and St. Therese of Lisieux demonstrated a true love and respect of the natural world which flooded their hearts to leave a lasting legacy of a spiritual life that was non-theological and most definitely non-academic. Their simplicity and real gift of humility came to be their hallmarks as God's special little ones, whose lives would draw many back to God. Their conversations with God resemble that of a loving child with that of a beneficent father-mother figure. And guided by their hearts to opt out of mainstream society, seeking solitude and silence from the rat race, here they came to know Jesus as their friend, their brother, their teacher. Who knows, they may have experienced the compassionate side of their master Jesus, as a therapist whose love would anoint their hearts when the enemy of God struck to discourage them in their faith. Their intense love of God as their loving father, mother, is very much reflected in their many writings, for example, St. Francis and the Canticle of the Sun. It reveals an inner depth of a spiritual love affair with God's creation and the animal kingdom. And it's no wonder that he's portrayed as having animals all around him. No wonder they felt so at ease with him. And St. Teresa had many experiences of an explosion of God's love direct into her heart. One has only to reflect on the depths of pure spiritual wisdom within her beautiful poetry to see the intense spiritual love affair which had controlled her life. Though St. Therese's maturity came as no surprise to her sisters, yet here they were amazed to see such a young woman manifest in her soul the maturity beyond her young tender age desperately longing for personal intimacy with her beloved Jesus and his loving Heavenly Father Mother even in death demonstrated the intensity of God's strength God's love which clearly claimed her heart her mind and her soul from the very moment she was born Yet St. Therese would be the first to say in her defence that she wasn't academically brilliant to be adored and loved as she is today. All she wanted was to dedicate her life to God as an enclosed Carmelite nun and spend the remaining years on earth doing the ordinary and simple things exceptionally well for God. And her gift to us when she died is her beautiful saying, I will spend my heaven doing good on earth. As members of the Teo monastic community of St. Francis Without Walls, 
we need to be reminded that like St. Teresa and St. Francis of Assisi, we are invited by the same God to live an ordinary life where eventually we become less and God becomes more. Are you ready for the challenge of, as one of God's many X Factor contestants? To show the world that you too have what it takes to follow the Barefoot Galilean as a professional prayer consultant in service to souls. If you are searching for a simple way, then you need not look beyond this modern day adaption of the little way to spiritual wholeness. The manuscript that we have put together for all our recruits, our members and monastics, and it's also available on our website, is underpinned by the ancient philosophy of the Therapeutic Essenes of Egypt and Mount Carmel. Their monastic lives became their way of living simplicity and humility in service to their God. They're coming together three times a day to sing the praises of God with an open heart. It's testament of how God touched them. The little way is a way of life, dear friends. It is not a dogmatic response. It is not enforced. It's something that comes from within one's spirit. It is a spiritual enrichment of the heart. Today we too are called to embrace God as a loving father mother and refrain from using lofty words that mean absolutely nothing. The challenge to our hearts today as members of the Teo community of St. Francis and the Heart to Soul Prayer Partners for Peace is to follow not the dictates of others but rather seek the inspiration from both St. Francis and St. Therese, including Sri Chimoy, as, two of, as three of God's special teachers, whose love of the ordinary brought about a spiritual revival within God's dysfunctional religious family. This selfless, reverent spiritual love became a love affair that both men shared on a purely spiritual level it became the sole driving force behind many of the teachings that St. Francis wrote for his followers, as well as Sri Chimoy, to follow in their search for God through simplicity and humility. The intense spiritual love affair that engulfed the soul of St. Francis, Sri Chimoy, and St. Therese of Lisieux became so intense that finally they were given, that Francis was given the stigmata or the same hallmarks of his crucified Lord Jesus Christ. In his personal faith journey, St. Francis acknowledged against the teachings of his church, the presence of both the divine feminine Mary Magdalena, as well as the masculine energies of Jesus. Yes, he had a devotion to Mother Mary, but he knew that as Magdalena was the beloved disciple whom Jesus loved, he restored allegiance to balancing both energies and avoided the root of adherence to the traditional doctrines imposed by the Catholic Church. Franciscan spirituality embraces a new concept of balance, harmony, and divine connectedness by not only acknowledging the presence of the divine feminine, but also shows a great reverence to Mother Earth and all creation as noted in the respected canticle of the creatures. The spirituality of St. Francis embraced a new world order of four important ecologies that would change the entire Christian world of that era to the present day. So the little way is a way of embracing wholeness through living an ordinary life in an extraordinarily way, by doing the simple things with joy. It's about allowing your heart to receive the messages of God. And by coming to a father-mother God as a child, not childish, but childlike, are you game for the challenge? Because the little way is a way open to all, who are willing to hear. Thank you.